It's the summer of 1833 in London. A 17-year-old girl, fiery, stubborn, determined to grab life and knowledge with both hands, bursts onto the A-list party scene. Her name is Ada Lovelace, and she's about to see the future. Our future. With hell-raising poet Lord Byron for a father and wealthy amateur mathematician Annabella Milbank for a mother, Ada is already a minor celebrity. Poetry or maths? Ada's mother is desperately trying to stop her following in her father's footsteps. But Ada's multi-talented, 17, and wants to try everything. All around her society is industrializing. The age of machines is arriving, and the battle between emotion and reason, art and science, is raging. And it's raging fiercely in Ada too. Until at one party she meets a charismatic genius, Charles Babbage. He demonstrates to her a working part of a larger machine he's building called a difference engine. Babbage's engine used a mechanical process. This was nothing new. Trains and clocks and factory machines were changing and revolutionising physical activity everywhere. But here, by cranking a handle, was a machine that was replicating, with 100% accuracy, a mental activity. Wheels, gears and levers worked together to produce a mathematical solution. It was the first automatic calculator. The engine was the talk of London. But was it a dehumanising machine or a wonderful miracle? Ada didn't see any conflict here between science and poetry. She suddenly saw both in harmony. Ten years later, Ada Lovelace had become something of an expert in Babbage's engines, and she had remained good friends with the inventor, who was now designing a major upgrade to his machine. Babbage's new invention used an idea he and Lovelace had both seen working in the revolutionary Jacquard loom. A series of hole-punched cards were fed into the loom as a set of instructions. The hold pattern on the cards determined the pattern of the weave. Babbage now adapted the same principle. So operation cards with patterns of holes dictated what kind of calculations the engine's mechanics should perform. So whereas the difference engine could only perform calculations using one method, this engine could be run on any method that could be programmed into the cards. Babbage called it an analytical engine. And virtually no one knew about it. Babbage had only ever given one public talk in Turin. It was Ada Lovelace who later translated an account of that talk into English and, with Babbage's encouragement, added her own notes. Those notes ended up being longer and more important than the original essay. They drew out detailed work on the sequences of instructions Babbage had developed for his operation cards. This is exactly what we now call mm. programming. And that's how, with one set of these instructions, under the unassuming title of Note G, Ada Lovelace published the first computer program. The analytical engine, she wrote, weaves algebraic patterns just as a jacquard loom weaves flowers and leaves. While Babbage had focused on using the machine for arithmetic, Ada saw that numbers could represent something other than quantity in the machine. The engine could manipulate numbers like symbols in algebra and then express them as language, graphics, even music. In fact, the machine could create anything you could produce a form of instructions for. This was the leap from calculation to computation, an incredible leap of the imagination and of belief. Because by then, Babbage was a long way off the mainstream. His difference engines, dogged by financial and engineering problems, lay in pieces. The Prime Minister thought he was living in a dream world, and his ideas were mainly ignored by British scientists and engineers. His theories, without our modern electronics to illustrate them, were very difficult to grasp. Against all this, Ada stuck passionately to her convictions about the potential for Babbage's engines. These convictions were virtually ignored for around a hundred years until new technology brought them back to life. 
And since Babbage's analytical engines were never actually built, Ada Lovelace's instructions and vision for the first computer are our glimpse into a unique moment when two people in 1843 saw our world.